Hello everyone, this is Sheena from Sticky Spy CNS, and I hope you're having a happy Lunar New Year. For this week's spread, I wanted to continue on using our Lunar New Year Advent Calendar Box stickers because I still had a lot of them left over from the box. So I'll be using a lot of them throughout this week's spread so that you can see another way to use the stickers in a different type of spread. So on the top, I just used our lantern header stickers so that I can finally finish up the sheet. Then to fill in the gaps below the dates, I just used our one third inch divider stickers. This one comes in two different designs, one of which is that from last week I used the swirly golden cloud design and for this week I'm using this square looking like pattern. At the left hand sidebar I started with a brown sugar checklist. So she's peeking on the very top of this heart checklist together with her carrot. And I just labeled this checklist as a goals type of checklist. And I wrote down three of the major goals that I wanted to finish for this week, which is just finishing our February sticker designs, which is our Kimini Todoke anime collection love stickers, and also making sure that I post our love or February sale post. Right after that, I placed this cute brown sugar bubble sticker where brown sugar is peeking at the right hand side and towards the bottom of this thought bubble, it's covered in the golden swirly clouds. And I used that thought bubble as my habit tracker to track the vitamins that I'm supposed to take daily. Then after that, I placed this one third inch divider sticker which is clear and I just put it down to kind of have that break and right after that I place this clear Sarah sticker where she's holding up a scroll that says happy lunar new year in Chinese. For this week I wanted to use up a lot of our clear deco stickers because that was one of the things that I was super scared in using just because it gives more freedom as to how you're supposed to place it but being someone that is quite indecisive these deco stickers are one of the hardest type of stickers that I have to deal with when it comes to my spreads. And that's why I usually just prefer using kits because at least that way you kind of know where everything's supposed to go. So on the very top, I placed this yellow moon with a yellow clouds clear sticker and paired it up with one of the red cloud pattern designs in our clear sticker format and right beside that I placed two fireworks. One is the smaller red firework sticker and right beside that would be the yellow firework sticker. I then placed this shining star red clear sticker just to finish up the sticker kit. At the bottom, I placed my work on Monday. I highlighted it with a red Sakura Koi brush pen and just wrote down all of my to-do list. Right after that, I placed this Sarah sad emoji sticker from our emoji sheets because during this time, I felt really sad or angry because I finished editing our plan with me from last Sunday. But because the program crashed, it lost my file and I had to re-edit it on Monday. Right after that, I just placed this work Sarah sticker. She's actually journaling or planning during this time and she is wearing her red cape with her red devil ears and a red carpet with a black kitty from our Halloween collection sticker sheet. If you remember from last week's plan with me video, I cut the title of the motivational sticker sheet to reuse it because it still is a motivational sticker in itself. 
So I placed this tiny don't give up sticker at the bottom of Monday's spread. On Tuesday, I placed this red thought bubble sticker with a carrot right underneath it and place the motivational sticker that says go for it inside of the thought bubble and at the bottom i place this cute brown sugar on a paper clip to serve as a reminder for myself to call the car insurance company then afterwards i placed my work to-do list sticker i highlighted it again with my red sakura koi brush pen and wrote out my to-do list for the day. I then wanted to practice my calligraphy skills just a little bit more, so I used my Tombow Fudenosuke brush pen to write out the word laundry, and I paired off this task with this brown sugar change sheets sticker, because after I did my laundry, I also had to change the sheets for the week. And then towards the bottom, I reuse some of our circle dot stickers from our weekly kits, our Hobonichi weekly kits, and just use that as kind of like a smiley face and a frowny face because of the things that happened on Tuesday. So on the start of every day, I look back at my previous day's checklist and just check or X the things that I was able to accomplish and I then transfer whatever task I wasn't able to finish onto the next day. So for example on Wednesday I just placed in my task from Tuesday to continue drawing Ken and Pin from Kimini Todoke and just placed it as part of Wednesday's checklist. Towards the bottom of this checklist, I included this adulted script sticker that says paid my bills on time for my car insurance and I paired it off with a golden star sticker that also comes in with the adulted sticker sheet. Towards the bottom, I placed this Sandra moving sticker where she's carrying boxes and I just wrote down ship orders that I had for the week. I then paired it off with a brown sugar carrot bunny stamp sticker so that it can indicate that it was a shipping type of matter. And I thought I was pretty cute to just add that towards the spread as well. Right after that, I was able to make my coffee a cinnamon dolce recipe. So I just placed this Sarah drinking her warm drinks sticker while she's cuddling up in a yellow pastel blanket. Then at the end of the day, I included this clear deco sticker of a fortune cookie that has a good fortune sheet inside of it. And I just wrote my motivation for the day, pairing it off with a hard clear sticker. On Thursday, I started off by writing my work to-do list checklist, which included continuing on drawing the Himini Todeke characters and also making sure that I prepare our sale information for a Valentine's by the end of this week. I then placed this one third inch divider sticker with the golden clouds swirls on it to break up the checklist and at the bottom I placed this red flag sticker from one of our previous Hobonichi Cousin Weeks kit that always comes along with small and big flag stickers and I just wrote call in it because I had to remind myself to call the optometrist during that day. I then paired it off with a yellow golden sticker from our adulted sticker sheet. At the bottom of that, I placed this Sandra moving sticker again to indicate that I was able to work on packing and shipping some orders. Right after that, I placed this Sarah in her cozy drinks sticker, but this time instead of the pastel sticker sheet, I used this pizza blanket sticker sheet. 
in the very beginning of when Sarah was made, her t-shirt had the pizza logo on it. So every single time that she has things to do, I will always try to include some sort of pizza element on it. So for example, she's snuggling up in her blanket, so I just designed the blanket to be shaped like a pizza. Towards the bottom, I continue to put on my work checklist. I placed this red Sarah Busy in Halloween sticker where she's wearing her red horns and wearing a red sweater. Her desk is color red and also the heart on her laptop also turned red too. And to end off the day, I included this yellow sticky note sticker that also came from our Hobonichi Weeks kit and just wrote down my motivation for the day by writing, you got this on the sticky note. Then I had some extra hearts from our Lunar New Year sticker sheets. So I just placed that at the left side as well. Now moving on to Friday, I just checked all the things that I was able to accomplish on Thursday to transfer that into Friday's checklist. I started off Friday by putting this Sarah happy emoji sticker because I was able to have a good start on Friday. I got to wake up early, prepare my coffee, and everything was just really quiet so I enjoyed my morning on Friday. I then placed this script sticker that says got to work on time from our adulthood sticker sheet and then right after that I proceeded to write down my work checklist. It was a little bit longer than usual because I set up a deadline for myself to have a shop update on Saturday. So I was rushing throughout Friday to make sure everything was done. I then placed this Sarah planning sticker from our Halloween collection because I was just busy working throughout the day. And from today too, I had a surprise visit from my cousins. So I placed this red car sticker filled with flowers and presents from our holiday Christmas sticker sheet. Then on Saturday, I got a new tripod. So I was able to film from an aerial angle, aerial point of view. So let me know at the comments down below which type of view you would prefer. The aerial view can help you see all of the planner, but because you see all of it, you don't really see the details from each of the week. But then if you prefer the close-up three-fourth angle look, um, you can also let me know too. The good side is that you're able to see all of the fine details, but the bad side is that because it's very close, you can't see anything else. So let me know which angle you prefer. On Saturday, I was just finishing up all of the tasks. I was able to do a quick shop update as well. On the left, I included this Sarah in her red unicorn onesie sticker from our holiday Christmas sticker sheet. And she's holding a cup of coffee. So I just placed my coffee recipe for the day. At the bottom of that, on the right, I placed this brown sugar hugging her Happy Meal box because I was able to receive some Happy Meal from a Korean skincare website that I usually order from. Then right after that, I proceeded to go back to work. So I included this Sarah Busy Working sticker from our Halloween collection. And right after that, I included this meal plan header sticker from one of our Hobonichi Cousin Weeks sticker kit to just plan out the things that I had to cook for next week. Then at the end, as my motivation, I placed this did a great job script sticker from our adulthood sticker sheet, then proceeded to add this yellow lantern to add some decoration. And I thought it would be really great to highlight some of the 
other work-related things that I was doing, so I just quickly highlighted them throughout the week as well. On Sunday, I started off my motivation by placing this finish today's tasks script sticker. Then afterwards, I proceeded to write my work checklist for the day, which included finishing up this plan with me video and making sure that I upload it. I then placed this Sandra moving sticker where instead of holding and carrying the boxes, she's now pulling a cart or a trolley full of boxes. I have yet to experience that from our sticker shop so hopefully one day I'm gonna get that much orders as well but I just placed that to indicate that I was working on packing and shipping all of the open orders from this week. Then at the bottom I was able to drink some coffee. I placed this Sarah drinking warm drinks in her pizza blanket and because it looked a little bit bare i decided to just draw red hearts using my red brush pen then on the side i was able to use this red sarah planning sticker from our halloween collection to indicate that i was able to upload this plan with me and prepare a banner for it then at the bottom, I wanted to use up all of our Lunar New Year Advent Calendar box sticker sheets. So I placed this yellow cloud pattern clear sticker and paired it off with a red flower clear sticker. I look for other places within this week to use up all of our clear sticker designs. So I placed this red fan sticker just right beside Sarah and also this red lantern sticker at the top portion of this week's spread and paired it off with a yellow fan clear sticker. Then towards the end, I just made sure I checked all of my to-do lists from the left-hand side bar and made sure that I highlighted that I was able to finish all of the goals from this week. That and also together with my habit tracker. So this is how this week's spread looks like. As you can see, I was able to finish about three whole sticker sheets from our advent calendar box and I was super proud of that. I still have a remainder of four sticker sheets left, but at least a lot of them. It just includes a little bit of stickers, so I'm planning to use all of them throughout next week on either my Hobonichi weeks or just the daily pages in my Hobonichi cousin. So this is how this whole week spread looks like. I wanted to show you guys a comparison of how I was able to do different types of spreads from last week and also from this week and I pulled out my last year's planner to also show you how it looks like. So which one do you prefer? A weekly kit or deco stickers? Just let me know down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next week.